She's big, she's beautiful, she's blue. Vengeance 40 D12 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Member of their touring edition. This is, this is a luxury fifth wheel that has a rear cargo flexible space. I don't want to call it a toy hauler because I think that doesn't do it justice. Um, before we get too far along, I want to point out if you like what you see, if you want to learn more about it, I leave you a link right down here in the video description. You're one click away from seeing price tags and total lengths and tank capacities. I do know that this weighs 15 for 15. Uh, so <laughs> she's a big girl. Baby got back. You, uh, you definitely need a real truck for this one or uh, one of the interesting things about uh, these, uh, I, I don't like the word toy hauler, but that's obviously what they're called. These are becoming more and more popular here in the Midwest as an alternative uh, to a seasonal site uh, or an alternative unit type to put on a seasonal site because it works so well. Because you have a built-in patio deck with your own dedicated awning coverage. You've got a rear patio deck with its own awning. You know, it, it's got a lot of really cool things that are really slick for a seasonal type setup. Um, a lot of good stuff going on here. I'm just going to try to, I'm going to give you an idea about this fifth wheel in this video. And there's more to learn. This is not going to give you everything you need to know about it. It's just, if you see things you like, if you have questions, call. You know, get, you know, get the idea here, then we'll get you dialed in. Comes with a, uh, an, a kick and bows sound system. Uh, I'm an audiophile. Musician, amateur, hack, guitarist. I'm terrible, but I have fun. And uh, the uh, you know the the sound quality I, I see on that's great. Little uh, floating utility table. It can go anywhere you want. Put it on your patio decks. Put it in the um, garage or three seasons room, if you will. Do whatever you want with it. I like the uh, the battery setup over here too. Hydraulic automatic leveling system. You want hydraulic for a big heavy girl like this. There's I'm not saying there, there's nothing wrong with electric, but um, in my experience, electrics seem to occasionally have a little trouble on a big unit like this. Not because they're not strong enough but because they run into low voltage situations. It's kind of common that way. Um, by the way, before I get too far along, this is a true wide body, 102 inch wide body. There are other wide body fifth wheel toy haulers out there. You need to see if they're a true 102 inch. There's hundreds and 101s and that might sound like, oh, why does he care? The big, there's a couple big benefits of true 102 inch wide body. Look where these leveler uh, legs are located way out. They're outside of the chassis. That means more stability. If they're not true 102 inch, they can't put them outside the chassis. 100, true 102 inch also means you can put a pair of fully dressed bikes side by side uh, instead of, um, you know, kind of shimmied offset a little bit. Um, you know, the uh, Rotoflex pin box here, in conjunction with the upgraded suspension on here, gives you the smoothest ride you could hope for. And on a big thing like this, when you have 15,000 pounds pushing here uh, on the road, you, you really appreciate that extra shock dampening so you you know you don't get bucked all over inside the truck. I should have turned on the LED lights. I failed. Um, Onan, 5,500 quiet running generator over here. This is great. Now, some people said, what, what does that mean, EVAP? Technically, according to Onan, you could not ventilate this and it would still breathe fine. Personally, I'm skeptical. I, that's why, and I think they are at Forest River too, and I think that's why Vengeance still ventilates this right here, just to give it the airflow. I, if, if I'm running that, I'm gonna leave the door open, but that's just me personally. Little detail stuff like the seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls here, I like that. You see the rough texture on that slide wall? It pulls this seal really taut so that you get a nice clean seal, whether the wipe seal's going in or out. And you know, lots of good um, shine quality going on that skin there. Even here on the shady side of the trailer, on a kind of dreary day, actually. Uh, fully enclosed underbelly, this is insulated all through the entire floor. Your main living cabin has forced air uh, heat ducted uh, going on through it. You can't do that in the garage area of a toy hauler if there's an onboard fuel cell, which there is here, because you can't encapsulate that. If there's fume leakage, that's a fire hazard. But they do still put a reflective layer insulation underneath their one inch thick uh, floor back there. One inch thick decking, mind you, not the whole floor sandwich, just the decking is super crazy heavy duty to put up with some really heavy loads. Um, by the way, anywhere you see a Vengeance, they have either the very best, or tied for the very best 
uh, outside fuel station holding tank capacities. They're very good that way. And I do like the always on uh, side ladder you see over here. You don't have to find a place to store that. It's just always there when you need it. Now, like I said, we've got rear, now, by the way, before you get too far along, someone's gonna say, oh my God, this stick's so high off the ground. What are we gonna do? Well, don't have a heart attack. If you notice, the whole land here slopes. We are not parked on level ground. So the tail of this thing is sticking way up in the air. Um, normally you don't have, you know, like a giant leap like this to get into it. And like I said, we do have a power awning back here and I like the double heavy duty fl uh, load flood lighting we got. I'm gonna go in the garage and come back out. Um, you know what, I'm gonna do that now because I don't wanna lose my place here because the other side patio deck on this is its own creation. Don't know if you noticed, a quad, a four step as we come up here too. That's really nice. Um, 3,000 pound rated load uh, ramp with a 1,500 pound um, patio deck arrangement load rating like we got now. The quick set uh, gates on this are nice. You see the same quick set gates on the other uh, deck as well. Now this is cool. This is a three seasons wall. This thing can, uh, you know, create a, a variety of different arrangements. There are Velcro panels that you can roll up inside of those so you can leave this shut and have a screen door wall that you can have a pass-through door when you want to come up you can just slide open hop in slide it close keep the bugs out but still get some breeze or you can have those panels shut like you have here and just have a uh, like a, a full off like uh, sectionalized wall or you can flip it open like this for big easy loading you can do all you want this is the next step up in the family from that pull down retractable wall. This is the luxury equivalent to that. If my voice is a little froggy, which it always is, but if it's extra froggy, I'm sorry, I'm getting over a cold here. Um, so you've seen this, if you've looked at toy haulers, you've seen this arrangement a hundred times. I'm not gonna belabor this too awful much. You've got the power uh, bed up top, which can reside against the roof of the RV, um, even when the sofa benches are down. So this doesn't have to be here to have these here is what I'm getting at. Um, you see these can be sleepers or they can be uh, you know, sofa benches or like a theater sort of setup. A lot of different configurations go in there. Remember that pat that table that's in the pass-through? It could go here, it could go here, it could go there, it could go there. You could give it to the neighbor, I don't care. Do whatever you want with it. Oh my, I just noticed this, double tail lights. That's cool. That's a very nice safety feature, and I like how high they're mounted. You're gonna see those. That is so smart. I don't recall seeing that in previous models. It's possible I missed it, but I wanna say that might be a little bit of an update. Heavy duty dovetail on this too for easy loading. You know, if you got a really aggressive angle of attack, you can get in here. A um, Couple other things I wanna point out when we get up here. TV up here, that can kind of swivel and pivot around so you can have some nice viewing. And you see a, an air conditioner up here. This is one of the areas in which Vengeance is unrivaled. This is a triple air conditioner fifth wheel that has the capacity to run all three at the same time with their hyper unique power management system. Here's how this works. You've got the main living room AC, that's the master. You got the bedroom AC, that's the next one. This rear air conditioner here is effectively the slave, but it also has one of the smallest rooms to try to cool. Here's what this does. Um, basically, two of the air conditioners run off the 50 amp side, but a 50 amp coach also has a 30 amp side to it, a 30 amp power side. That's what helps feed this extra air conditioner. Now, if you want to like kick on a really high voltage appliance like your microwave or something like that, it'll leave the fan running, but it'll kick the compressor off of this. So you'll still have cold air back here. It'll maintain temp for quite a bit. You're probably only gonna use the microwave for a minute or two for like a bowl of soup or something. As Soon as the microwave kicks off, this turns back on. So it power controls and cycles itself so that you get maximum, maximum airflow in this thing all the time. There, to my knowledge, I've not found another fifth wheel that has that level of intricacy in their air system. There are other fifth wheels, other toy haulers with three airs and some form of power management system. None of them do what this does. This is a big, big, big deal that I have not done enough talking about in the past, but this, this is something that people need to understand is a big facet of this RV. Um, I like, this is a loft model. You got your little bath and a half here, and you've seen toy haulers like this before, or have you? You think you have, but check this out. You've seen other toy haulers 
They have a side patio door, but this has a direct-to-bathroom side patio door with a second pass-through to the kitchen area. This is a hyper-unique thing. This patio deck is two foot longer than any other side patio in the toy hauler business, period. End of sentence. End of story. That is an area that they have done here that no one else has ever matched. So you've got your handy little pass-through gate right here if you want. Um, there's options to put, uh, you know, stairs on the end of it if you want. Some people do, some don't. Everyone's different. We can add stuff if we don't have it. Remember, the one that I have in stock might be different from the one in this video. So check our website with that link down here in the video description. Uh, if the one you're looking for does or doesn't have equipment you want or don't want, just tell us what you need and we'll make it happen. I mean, there's a reason we sell so darn many. And once again, I failed with the lighting, but you can see there is LED lighting all the way around this sucker. Let me see if I can flip a bunch of switches. I was trying to do this one in a hurry because it came in right at the end of the day, but, um, oh well, I don't know where the switch is. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time working on it. I haven't had enough time to play with it. It's a brand new model. I was, I was so excited when I saw this. This floor plan came out last year, and I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then order management never stocked it. I'm like, what are you guys doing? This is incredible. Here's what I love about this. So this is a house party. This thing is a freaking house party. You walk in the door. You go into the kitchen, into the living room. You've got this cool little flow and vibe. You've got uh, the end seats are heated. You've got four individual uh, recliners here in this party couch. Windows and overhead space galore. Here you got your nice drinks uh, on hand. Here you've got the bartender of the party doing his job. And then you can kind of flow out here to the deck part of the house party. And you see you've got a, a nice little entertainment center. You've got an electric space heating fireplace outside. That sounds really weird, but I have seen this floor plan in a campground at night. And I have seen five people sitting around that thing with blankets on their legs and their chairs getting warm by this thing take it looking out here at the kids that's what was so cool about it it works it's everyone's like why do you have a space heater outside because it gets chilly outside and you want heat <laughs> it's it's actually quite simple why we have it plus the entertainment is awesome or you can just use it for visual ambiance only it doesn't have to be on heater mode anyway so we're back to the party we're out here sitting at the picnic table need a drink Maybe we want to go see what Dave's doing in the background, or maybe we just need a quick trip to the bathroom. Boom! Here it is. Nice and handy. Or we can just keep on passing through. There's no bottleneck in this trailer. There's no like, oh, someone's in the door. I have to wait. No. Go around. Go around. You don't have to wait for Dave over here. Oh, thanks, Dave. You're always in the way. Anyway. <coughs> I shouldn't be using that voice when I'm not feeling great. There are snap-on blackout window shades. Actually, here, I'll show you exactly what they look like. These things. For the windows in the garage area to black out everything. This is here just to kind of give people peace of mind. They don't have to put this here. They didn't put this here last year. They never had a problem with the TV. They put it there just for that extra level of customer peace of mind. Because this little piece of fabric costs next to nothing. But it makes you feel good. So that's why that's there, really. Um, moving on. The living area in here does not disappoint. They've done a just bang up job of this. This is gorgeous. Super tall slides because it's a toy hauler. You do get the benefit of those monster tall slides. Bigger than luxury fifth wheel slides actually. That is an area where this does trump those. But then again this is its own type of luxury fifth wheel. I already talked about this a little bit. Uh, you got that giant uh, Whirlpool refrigerator with its big uh, thousand watt inverter so it can stay cold going down the road. Now I've had people say uh, well, that's so stupid. They put the ladder in front of the door. Check this out. It absolutely does not interfere with the use of this coach. And there's going to be one person out there that says, uh-uh, look, the ladder's in the way. You can't get through. It's not possible. Well, um, I must be Siegfried and Roy because I just mastered the impossible. How did I do it? Because it's not heavy. You just push the thing out of the way. You can still get to the giant pantry over here anytime you need it. Uh, it's easy access up here to the loft, which you can obviously use for sleeping, but frankly, this is like the best attic storage you're ever going to get. This is absolutely fantastic in that regard, and there are even extra TV hookups up there. And check this out, they even ran the crown molding all the way up here. They didn't skip the attention to detail. Let me back up a little bit. <coughs> oh, my voice is starting to go. Holy cow. Uh, big Max Air fan up here, because here's your cooking. Heat rises. Let's exhaust the heat from the roof. 
It doesn't, I mean, it's common sense, but why aren't more fifth wheels built that way? Why is this unusual in that regard? That's the question I really have. I love the level change. This little Pac-Man shaped countertop section right here, I love that. I love the little extra bar stools. I like, there's an indirect light you notice under here. Gives it that cool, sweet glow. But I tell you, the indirect lighting there and there is the perfect night light. If you get up at night and you need to go check on the kids or something, you can get right through here without waking everybody up. All solid surface countertops. Um, recessed sink and stove. Larger 22 inch stove, which is nice. Big drawers, great cabinet space, because there's another drawer or door there that's covered up by the drawers currently. Man, I, they really went all out with that. <coughs> and notice this whole wall is a nice backsplash. If you're cooking up a storm over here, you know, because people use these vengeance storings a lot as uh, permanent, full-time use RVs. You're going to cook in it. Well, that's awesome. Plus the big residential microwave over here. Um, this is neat, your little... Uh, pull up power post here um, because you've got griddle country going on you've also got phones that need charge which is why it has usb plugs on it our nice uh recessed sink here uh, st uh stainless of course and i like the the very modern make does it make sense to say modern farmhouse design i don't know it's what I'm, I'm i'm calling it that that's what i'm calling it i don't care don't care if it makes sense i don't have to make sense <laughs> i make videos i don't make sense so, uh, with that patio door over there, tons of light. Obviously, your entertainment center is not lacking by any stretch. And that TV can swivel out and pivot to face your seating over here. So, no problems there. Nor are there any problems with hitting your head over here. That's never going to be an issue. I also like that they darken that wall. Last year was a very light gray. Um, it, it was, the material's fine, but it had a sort of cheap look to it. This has a very nice, rich contrast. I mean... They nailed that. That looks good. I am happy with that for sure. I was happy with the last year, but looking at it now, I'm much happier even. Wow, they did not waste anything. They did waste anything in here. That is impressive. And these are not hardwood steps so that your feet don't get slippery. More big windows for more big light. Uh, their bathroom in here has a couple cool things. I purposely left the light off in here because check out this. You got a little dial roller right here where you've got indirect lighting built into this little mother of pearl countertop. And the, the camera is trying to equalize the light, so you can only see it turn off and on, but it actually has a, a dimmer switch on it. Now, notice too that all their light switches are backlit. So, if I come into this dark bathroom and I can't see much, I can still see the light switches, and bang, the light's there whenever I need it. Um, great little, uh, you know, extra little towel or uh, space over here with more towel space uh, above the toilet behind. I'm just standing at a bad angle to see this. I probably should have planned that better. Big shower too. But notice the shower doesn't have a big step up. It's flush with the rest of the floor. To meet RV plumbing code, that means they had to recess everything. They had to plan for that. A lot of good planning and forethought went into this with some really good looking hardware in here. And that is not, that is not small skylight. Holy cow. <coughs> All right. My voice has only got to hold out a little bit longer. So remember, three air conditioners with the power management system. I do not know of any fifth wheel with a superior cooling capacity. I like the light switches right where you can reach them from bed. Of course, it's a king with side breeze windows. Um, you've got uh, a full sliding wardrobe up front, stackable prepped washer dryer closet. Though, uh, of course, you just you know can always use it for crazy good storage space. Um, let's see. What do we have? We have uh, living room HD TV. We have side patio HD TV. We have bedroom HD TV. These are all Samsung. Um, you know, not cheap stuff. This is sharp. This is, I mean, very smartly equipped, nice components here. Another thing I like is right behind me over here, they just put an extra little cabinet space on the back side of the shower where there wouldn't really be a lot of storage otherwise. And even nice little phone chargers there. You could use that like a little charge station. Uh, you've got power outlets and everything down there. Extra little uh, alarm clock type shelf. Um, if I slide these doors open. Oh, they're, they're latched down. Shoot, I need two hands to do that. I screwed up. Man, I'm, I'm just not batting a thousand. This came in way after a scheduled receiving hours. My, I'm, I'm out of sorts and I'm sorry about that. But anyway, shelves in that side of the closet you can use for like alarm clock storage and everything too. 
I, I, I really, this has a cool living room. What I like about this is, I mean, toy haulers are big. They're long, they're heavy, they're cool. But this one found a way to get wider, you know, without getting bigger, in a sense. When you get there, you open up that patio deck, and like I said, it is party central. And whether it's just the two of you, and you just like the ability, you just want to feel open and flowing, or you like to have guests over, or you're going to use this like a big giant bunkhouse, and you got kids running all over the place. You're just going to love the flow of this thing. It's like Happy Gilmore said, feel the flow, doing the dance, go with it. <laughs> so, give us a call. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, uh, delivering an RV for you. We only do everything, so give us a call. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I mean, we've taken about 21 minutes here to try to educate you. Imagine what we'll do once you actually give us the chance to meet you. We won't let you down. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.